All right, thank you guys. Kansas takes on Texas Tech. It's not on our big screen behind us, but that's going to be a 12 p.m. Eastern kickoff in Lubbock. The Texas Tech Red Raiders are minus 27 at home, total 64. We're 5-1 and one in our last six daily best plays on patreon.com slash Brock Page. And if you want to access today's daily best play, it's only going to cost you just $1.99. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm going to explain a little bit more about it in just a few moments. We're also 7-2 and two in our last nine underdog tier package picks on that site as well. And if you want access to today's underdog tier membership, that's only going to cost you just $4.99. Now, if you want to get in on the action today, link for that site is in the description section below. And once again, that's patreon.com slash Brock Page. Now, Texas Tech has successfully covered the point spread in their last two straight. And one of those covers was an outright win against Baylor, where they actually held the Bears to just 23 points. They also put up 44 points against Oklahoma State in their most recent contest. The Red Raiders have covered the number in three out of their last five. And that includes an outright victory over West Virginia, where they put up 34 points against a pretty good defense. Now Tech is scoring over 35 points a game at home, and they're throwing for nearly 290 yards a game in that same category. Alan Bowman and Henry Columbi have combined for over 2,500 yards passing along with 18 total touchdown passes. Wideout Eric Ezukanma has 20, uh, 44 grabs excuse me, for 728 yards and six touchdowns. He's averaging nearly 17 yards per reception. Now they're taking on a winless Kansas program who just lost their eighth straight to TCU by the final of 59-23. The Jayhawks are giving up 51 points a game on the road and nearly 230 yards a game on the ground. Of course, in addition to going a dismal 0-8 straight up on the season, the Jayhawks have also failed to cover the point spread in each and every one of those losses. Certainly profitable if you're fading Kansas this season. Now the Jayhawks are scoring just 13 points a game on the road and they're throwing for less than a buck 55 per contest. Now total wise Kansas is 4-0 to the over when they travel, 8-0 to the over for the entire season. A lot of really significant trends for uh, Kansas uh, betters here uh, if you're betting on the game. Meanwhile Texas Tech on the other side is 60% to the over at home themselves. Give me the Texas Tech Red Raiders minus 27 and the over 64 in that ball game. And before we go ahead and move on, just want to take another quick time out and welcome you to the video. Got some lines and personal leans out for college football week 14. And of course, this is our Big 12 edition. Now, before we go ahead and dive into some more free content right here on YouTube, just got to quickly remind you once again that we are 5-1 and one in our last six daily best plays on patreon.com slash Page. And if you want to access today's daily best play, it's only going to cost you just $1.99. We're also 7-2 in our last nine underdog tier package picks on that site as well. And access to today's underdog tier pick, it's only going to cost you just $4.99. Now you might be wondering right now, why would you sign up for picks on Patreon and pay for them? Where you can get them right here for free on YouTube, and that's certainly a great thought, a great consideration. If I were you, I'd be thinking the same thing myself. But hear me out real quick. If you were to go out there and bet every single game that's on the board side in total, like I do with my breakdowns here on YouTube, it's certainly not a winning formula for success. And as a matter of fact, it's a recipe for disaster. I strongly recommend you do not bet every single game on the Big 12 slate this week uh, side in total. Uh, reason why, why you may ask, the books are way too smart. They're way too sharp with the numbers. The odds become massively more against you. And to be honest with you, the bookies just have so much more money than you and I do combined to be able to absorb that type of action. So what I do on Patreon is I break it down and focus in on just three to four premium selections per day. I make life a lot easier for you that way. They're my personal plays, games that I personally have action on. And I'll tell you this much. I'm having a lot more success betting on games that way versus wagering on every single game that's on the Big 12 slate side in total. It's uh, certainly an asinine approach 
uh, to betting the games and trying to make money. Now, we currently have a bunch of members signed up and active on that site. Guys, today is the first of the month. And as always, we bill you the day you sign up and then the first of every month following that. So December 1st today, this is your max value day and it's a 31 day month so if you want to join those folks and get in on the action link for that site is in the description section below and once again that's patreon.com slash brock page and moving on we're going to take a look at oklahoma state squaring off against tcu and that's going to be a 12 p.m eastern start time now the oklahoma state cowboys are the two and a half point favorite on the road totals 50 and a hook now, the Cowboys have won two out of their last three. They're also 6-2 and two straight up overall for this season. Oklahoma State is scoring nearly 30 points per contest and rushing for almost 200 yards a game on the ground. Now, Chuba Hubbard has gained 625 yards rushing and scored five times on the uh, ground. Keep an eye on him. He has been banged up over the past couple of weeks, so just keep an eye on, uh, eye on him. Make sure he's playing if you're firing on Oklahoma State. Meanwhile, defensively, the Cowboys are giving up just 22 points per contest on the road, and they're holding their opponents to less than 180 yards passing per game when they travel. Colby, Harvell, Peel, and Trey Sterling, they each have a pair of interceptions uh, out of this Cowboys secondary. Calvin Bundage also has four and a half sacks from that linebacker position as well. Now, uh, Oklahoma State, they're taking on a TCU squad who's really struggling at home this season. Losers of three out of their last four home games, and they're giving up nearly 28 points per contest in that same category. The Horned Frogs are also giving up over 155 rushing yards a game on their home turf as well. Now, total-wise, TCU 75% to the under when they play at home. Oklahoma State is 62% to the under for the entire season. Give me the Oklahoma State Cowboys minus 2.5 and, and the under 15 a hook in that contest. All right, next matchup. It is going to be Texas, Kansas State, and that's going to be a 12 p.m. Eastern kickoff. The Texas Longhorns are laying 10 points on the road, totals 51 and a half. Texas is coming fresh off a 23-20 loss to Iowa State. They've also failed to cover the number in six out of their last seven. They've been very bad against the uh, spread this season. The Longhorns' uh, defense is giving up a staggering 48 points per contest on the road and nearly 330 yards a game passing in that same category. The Longhorns have successfully covered the point spread in just 25% of their ball games for the entire season. Now they're taking on a Kansas State program who has been struggling at quarterback, but they've been able to get the job done. They've successfully covered the number in two out of their last three. Now the Wildcats are also 3-1 against the spread at home, and they're covering nearly 70% of their ball games overall for the season. Now mostly thanks uh, for all that success, uh, thanks goes to this K-State defense who's giving up just 22 points a game on their home turf. Jerron McPherson and Justin Gardner each have a pair of interceptions from this Wildcats secondary. Edge rusher Wyatt Hubert also has seven and a half sacks through nine ball games, two forced fumbles, and 25 total tackles for the defensive end. Now, total-wise, K-State is 3-2 and two to the over in their last five. Meanwhile, the Longhorns have gone 3-0 and oh to the over away from home themselves. Give me the underdog K-State Wildcats, keeping this one close, plus 10, and the over 51.5 in that ball game. All right, next contest I have for you. Oh, wow, we had Texas Tech on there. My bad. Anyway, uh, West Virginia, Iowa State, and that's going to be a 3.30 p.m. Eastern uh, start time. There it is. Uh, Jack Trice Stadium, that's where the game's being played. The Iowa State Cyclones are minus seven at home, totals 48 and a half. The Cyclones are on a four-game winning streak, just 18 points a game they gave up on average during that stretch. Now, the Cyclones are four months straight up at home, and they rush for nearly 200 yards a game. Running back Brees Hall has rushed for nearly 1,300 yards already, and he's punched it into the end zone 16 times on the ground. Hall's gaining 6.3 yards per carry, and 140 yards a game rushing. The Cyclone defense on the other side of the ball, they're also giving up just 21 points per contest at Jack Trice Stadium. Just 86 yards a game on the ground they're giving up in that same category. Mike Rose has 76 total tackles from that linebacker position. Rose, uh, Rose also leads the Cyclones in interceptions with four of them. Now edge rusher Will McDonald the fourth 
Also has uh, six and a half quarterback sacks and two forced fumbles. The Cyclones are taking on a West Virginia program who's still winless in three tries on the road this season. The Mountaineers are scoring just 17 points a game when traveling and rushing for less than 70 yards per contest. Meanwhile, defensively, as good as these guys have been in Morgantown, the Mountaineer D, they don't travel well, and they're giving up nearly 200 yards a game on the ground when they travel. That could be, yeah, very problematic facing a rusher like Brees Hall. Now, total-wise, three out of West Virginia's last five ball games got over the posted number. Meanwhile, two out of Iowa State's last three ball games got over the line themselves, throwing out the Texas game, of course. Give me the Iowa State Cyclones minus seven and the over 48 and a half in that ball game. And with that, we're going to dive into our next and final matchup for the show. It's going to be Baylor versus Oklahoma, 8 p.m. Eastern start time at the Gaylord. The Sooners are the 22 point favorite at home, total 62 and a half. Oklahoma is on a five game winning streak. They're playing some really, really good football right now. 5-0 and against the spread in those contests. They've been making their backers a ton of money. Uh, the Sooners are scoring 48 points a game at home, and they're throwing for 355 yards a game on their home turf as well. Spencer Rattler, he's been awesome. This guy's just a football player. He's completing nearly 70% of his passes and has thrown for over 2,300 yards on the season. Now, he's thrown 22 touchdown passes, and he's also rushed it in four times. He's a tough guy. That's why I say this guy's just a football player. He can get it uh, done throwing or running. Now, wide receiver Marvin Mims, he's averaging nearly 18 yards of reception and has seven touchdown uh, catches as well. This guy, in my opinion, is NFL ready right now. Meanwhile, defensively, nobody talks about the Sooner D, but these guys have been playing very good. Just 21 points a game they're giving up at home this year, 86 yards a game on the ground. Now, Brian Asamoah has 48 total tackles, one and a half sacks, and two PBUs. And speaking of sacks, linebacker Nick Benito currently leads the team with six and a half sacks, along with 24 total tackles. Now, they're taking on a sputtering Baylor program who lost five out of their last six. They're also a winless 0-4 straight up on the road this season, 1-3 against the number in those contests. Baylor's gaining just 92 yards a game on the ground when they travel, really struggle to rush the ball away from home. And when it comes to the total in this one, Three out of Baylor's last four uh, contests got over the posted number. Meanwhile, Oklahoma's gone 71% to the over in their last seven. Give me the Oklahoma Sooners minus 22 and the over 62 and a half in that contest. And with that, guys, we're going to dive into our quick pick recap brought to you by Patreon.com slash Brock Page, where we are 5-1 and one in our last six daily best plays on that site. I like Texas Tech minus 27 over 64. Oklahoma State minus two and a half under 50 and a hook. Kansas State plus 10 over 51 and a half. Iowa State minus seven over 48. And last but certainly not least, I like Oklahoma minus 22 and the over 62 and a half in that ball game. All right, let's go ahead and dive into some shout outs. And from our Instagram platform, shout out to James Bruce, J Mobile, Cool Sorry, Xyloy Plastic, Nurse Escali, Sports Lover 2K. Print name here, Proto Sports Bet, Texas Omen R3, John Anderson, and Bubba Jonesy. And finally, from our YouTube platform, got to give a shout out to Sean Mejias, Jeffrey Sung, Oliver Bryant, CQP Underboss, Kevin Taylor, Bertrand Tech Montreal, excuse me, Darius McNeil, Gino Hernandez, Nathan Williams, and last but certainly not least, he's been with me for a very long time. Great supporter. Love this guy. Got to give a shout out to my man, Elliot V. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Don't forget to check me out on Patreon. If you guys decide to get a package here today, just keep in mind, we'll bill you the day you sign up and then the first of every month following that. So today is your max value day. There's 31 days in the month of December, so you're getting an additional day. And uh, once again, we bill you the day you sign up and then the first of every month following that. So this is your absolutely best max value play where you'll get uh, as many uh, possible plays in that particular tier uh, as you can. So anyway, uh, the first of every month, always the best day to sign up. But anyway, guys, actually any days, if we're hot, any day is the best day to sign up. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for me. Uh, once again, don't forget to check me out on Patreon. But most importantly, guys, got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. 
Really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. And with that said, happy Tuesday to you. Best of luck to you. And I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at patreon.com slash brockpage.